What's up guys, welcome to part 5 of the golf cart build. Today we're going to be building a battery box, we're going to be building a plate for the electronics, we're going to be building a mount for the gas tank, hopefully installing the carburetor, and starting on the linkages for the shifter and reverse. Stay tuned! chop saw action, <clears throat> a little plasma cutter action, and just like that, <clears throat> we have ourselves a little battery box. So I'm going to go ahead and weld that uh, together here real quick. So there's our battery box. I just welded it to the frame so it's not going anywhere and it holds the battery fairly snugly. Um, and it's a little bit bigger so you can put a little bit bigger battery in there if we need to. But <clears throat> that's gonna work perfectly to hold the battery and then we're gonna build a plate right here that's gonna house all of our electronics. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mount all of our electronics. Now this actually fits in here but we're gonna make this a little bigger to fit in that space. Eight and a half inches by 10 and a half inches. So I'm going to go ahead and plasma cut out the thing we need. And then what we're going to do is we're going to rivet nut everything in. Um, and we're going to have to make a little spacer for the coil because it's got to sit up uh, like that. But uh, that shouldn't be too, too hard. So there's our <clears throat> electronics layout board. Um, we got the ECU regulator rectifier ignition coil starter module, which will mount in here. And then our two uh, relays. And what we're going to do is we're going to drill and put in uh, rivet nuts for this, this, and this. And then for these guys, we're actually going to take some of that scrap steel and cut the little tabs um, and probably either weld or rivet those tabs in so that these things can mount, you know, like they're supposed to on little slots of metal. Um, and then this whole assembly will go right there next to the battery. So that's what the rivet nut panel looks like with all the rivet nuts in it. And that's what the rivet nuts look like from the back side. You can see how they mushroom out and that's what holds them in place. I don't know if you guys watch, there's a channel on YouTube called The Fab Forms. It's run by a guy named Kyle Voss. Uh, and he always stresses details. And I don't mean to say that I'm on the same kind of like level that he is. Uh, he is a very, very good fabricator. but. Something like this is what really sets a project apart. Like we could have just randomly like bolted it and threw it in a box or something, but something like this, this panel, right? So like these are little little socks I have for these um, relays, right? And they're gonna slip on there, and then the um, I don't know what happened to it, but the uh, the starter solenoid control slips on here, and I welded on these little towers for the uh, for the coil and just rivet nutting everything. And now this is gonna bolt into the side of the golf cart and it's going to look like it was actually designed and this will give us a nice ground plane for everything to ground to as well so it takes a little bit longer i spent maybe i don't know 45 minutes making this uh i could have just you know stuck everything in there zip tied it to whatever it would have taken like 10 seconds but in the end this is going to deliver a much better product okay so here's our panel installed um there's a regular rectifier there's our ecu there's our starter solenoid that's going to go here, here's our two relays, and here's our ignition coil and our battery. And all of this is welded in place, so it's not going anywhere, plus it provides protection from, you know, crud and, and water and stuff coming up from the street. It's going to block all of that out. Um, 
So as you can see, it fits all in here nicely. The body will cover it up, and body sits in here, so there's plenty of space for all these plugs and stuff. We'll uh, end up probably redoing some of the harness uh, to make this uh, kind of fit in here. But all in all, super duper happy. That's exactly where we needed everything to be. Uh, and now we can move on to the other side where we gotta install our gas tank. While we're waiting for our aluminum uh, gas tank mounts to cool off, um, good news, our brand new carburetor is in. Uh, I took it apart and checked the jets. They're definitely different than the jets I had in the factory one, um, but I don't know. Um, we're basically gonna have to tune it later on once it's running uh, and figure out, you know, when you go richer and you go leaner, you just order some jets and, and figure out because we're running a different exhaust now and, and there's a bunch of other stuff that's gonna change. Um, but brand new carburetor bolted right in um i compared it to the oem one and it looks to be just as well made all the parts are right and so for 60 bucks not too bad so there we go we got our little uh, gas tank mounted in here and it's pretty solid you want a little bit of flex but you want this to be pretty solid and some of you may ask like hey max the spigot's down here but the carburetor's up here how are we going to do a gravity fed gas tank when obviously gravity doesn't work in the other direction well I actually ordered a little tiny Bosch uh, fuel pump and what it's going to do is it's going to use the um, intake uh, vacuum to run a little tiny fuel pump it's about this big and what it'll do is it'll pump gas from down here to over here now this fuel cell is I think like a gallon ish um, so the range will be somewhat limited for now, but um, I don't really want to spend money on a big aluminum five gallon fuel cell that'll fit in there, because it'll be a couple hundred bucks. And it's something that we can always add down the road. It doesn't really uh, impact any of the other systems. But this little gallon will be more than enough to get us going for now. So that's in, carburetor's in, electronics are in. Had a good productive day. All right guys, let's wrap on another episode of Monster Golf Cart Build. List. We are working our way through the list. I'm pretty happy with that. We're getting a, a lot of stuff knocked off. Um, in the next episode, hopefully we're gonna ta start tackling all the various linkages, right? So we're gonna install the, the rear caliper and the rear brakes. Um, then we're gonna tackle all the linkages. So we got a shift linkage we gotta build. We got a uh, for or forward reverse linkage we gotta build. And we an accelerator linkage we gotta build for the gas pedal. Um, so all of those are gonna require some engineering. They're gonna require some tinkering. So I hope you stay tuned. Uh, as always, I'm Max. This is MaxWorks. Peace.